upon taking your photos this afternoon, I should have offered to edit them, but knowing you, you would probably say something along the lines of, no, it's okay, don't worry about it, uh, which is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you, we'll give you this video file on how to use adjustment layers in Photoshop. So what I'm going to use is your photo that I took with my phone. And I'm going to show you how to use adjustment layers with it. So, to Photoshop we go. And it's not that I doubt your Photoshop skills. I just feel that, uh, you know, we could all be better at things. I could certainly be better at things. And I wanted to provide you with this file so that you can reference it in the future should you need to, or show it to people should they need it. That's at some point. I mean, this is kind of taking a while. Photoshop. You can do it. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Come on. This is fun. So much fun. But yeah, I'm going to cover adjustment layers and some keyboard shortcuts that you might find useful in the future. Come on, Photoshop. You can do it. Oh, good lord. I command you. Ignore this, Ben. You can skip forward if you want. Oh, finally. All right. So you have your background image. You never want to edit on the background image when you first import an image into Photoshop. Now, this is presumably after you've used the camera raw, or if you are just doing just drag the photo into Photoshop, which is what I normally do. Camera Raw is a bit extra. I don't normally shoot in Raw. Uh, I used to, but I found it too, too much. The files took up too much space, and it, it was just, I could edit the photos quicker and easier as JPEGs just in the Photoshop, this Photoshop window. So, but that's all personal preference and you can do whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go for my brightness and contrast. Now these are your adjustment layers and you can access these through here, this little half moon down at the bottom of the layers panel or in the adjustments panel as you can see. So if I just click that, it will give me a brightness contrast layer, same as if I went to here. But right now we're just going to go with one. And super easy to delete layers. You just click on it and then press the delete key on your keyboard or the little trash can. No need to click and drag. I know, uh, I, I at least have been told 
by teachers that that show that they've done that, but it's so much quicker to do it this way. Anyway, uh, the great thing about an adjustment layer is that you can always go back and adjust. So if I make this too bright, too dark, eh, right about there, and then I go for a hue of saturation, I make this really vibrant, I can go back. I can click on here and adjust it. Whereas if you, let me just group this, Command G is group, by the way, so I hide that. If I edit on the image itself, going image, adjustments, brightness, contrast, it pulls up a window to do the adjustments, same as an adjustment layer. But with this, once I click OK, it's edited the it's adjusted the photo, see? And I can't necessarily go back unless I have my you know, window open like this, my history window. But it's so much easier with hue sat with uh, adjustment layers. Oh, so that's the hue saturation. See? So that's that. Now, another great thing that you might like is a stamp visible layer. Now, this is a great way for sh uh, viewing your uh, edits in your file without needing to save a bunch of JPEGs, but saving a bunch of JPEGs for the client, maybe, or your uh, creative director, or to show someone. That would be, that's a separate thing. But this is for you, and you're in to view it in your file. So what you do is a stamp visible layer. It's exactly what it sounds like. It takes every, every visible thing in your file, all of, you know, this, and flattens it into one layer. Watch. So I press Shift, Option, Command, E, and there we are. So I can group all of this, or not, because that's the background layer. I'm just going to group that. And see, it is one image layer. It's flat. You can't go back and edit this layer, but you can go back and fiddle with your adjustment layers. See, if I make that one desaturated, and then I make another stamp visible layer, Oop. And there you go. Super easy, just like that. So, Shift Option Command E for a stamp visible layer, Command E to group things, and one moment and uh, adjustments uh, and window and the adjustment layers. Super easy and save a lot of time and help with your productivity. All right, that should be all. And uh, there you go, you're welcome.